This is video number four of the Balance of Payments mini-series, which is unit 3.3 of the IB Economics International Economics Syllabus. In this video, I'm going to talk about the relationship between the current account and the exchange rate. So the IB Economics Syllabus um, lists the outcome as explained that a deficit in the current account of the Balance of Payments may result in downward pressure on the exchange rate of the currency. So why is this the case? Well, if there's a deficit on the current account, this means that there are more outflows of the country's currency from the country to overseas countries than there are inflows of foreign currency from overseas. This means that the supply of the country's currency is increasing in foreign exchange markets, but the demand, the foreign demand for the country's currency is weaker. So when supply of the country's currency increases and the foreign demand for the country's currency is weaker, this will exert a downward pressure on the value of the currency, on the exchange rate. Now, if the country has a floating exchange rate, this will lead to a depreciation of its exchange rate. If the country has a fixed or a managed exchange rate, um, this will put downward pressure and the government might have to interfere to either maintain the value of the exchange rate if it's fixed or actively revalue the currency if it's managed. So remember, a deficit on the current account and the balance of payments will put downward pressure on the exchange rate of the country's currency. The opposite is also true. So the other IB learning outcome is explaining that a surplus on the current account may result in upward pressure on the exchange rate. Why? Well, you use the same thought process. In fact, I actually copied the slide and just erased some words and changed them. Well, um, if there is a surplus in the current account, this means that there are more inflows of foreign currency from overseas coming into the country than there are outflows of the country's currency to overseas. This means that foreign demand for the country's currency is increasing and is much stronger on the foreign exchange market, but the supply of the country's currency is weaker. This will put an upward pressure on the exchange rate. If it's a floating exchange rate system, the currency will appreciate. If the country is keeping a fixed exchange rate system, the government might have to actively devalue the currency if it wants it to remain lower or manage it in a way that doesn't cause it to appreciate too much. Thank you very much.